congratulations! We've made it to week 24, or better known as Viability Week. In other words, this is the week where our babies have a reasonable chance of surviving outside the womb if they were to make an early guest appearance. Welcome to the DeConta channel, where we discuss all things educational and we never duck away from difficult topics. At 24 weeks, the chance of a normal infant survivor is about 50%. So in other words, there's a 50-50 chance of surviving. Of course, this percentage decreases in parts of the world that don't have access to modern medicine and increases to those that do. According to studies conducted between 2003 and 2005, a baby born at 24 weeks has a 40 to 70% chance of survival. While that value increases to a range of 50 to 80%, just one week later at 25 weeks and increases again to 80 to 90% chance of surviving another week later at week 26. So just two weeks after week 24, your baby's chance of survival doubles, even in the worst case percentage scenario. Now, when we consider viability according to country, we see there are some vast differences, vast variations, if you will, of survival chances in these different countries at 24 weeks. For example, it seems that France has the lowest overall chance of survival at 24 weeks, while Japan has the highest chance of survival at 24 weeks. But keep in mind that this graph is depicting data from different years, and we also know that medical science is advancing very, very quickly. So I wouldn't trust this graph's data 100%. It would be better if we had one that compared all of the different countries from the same years. So why is 24 weeks suddenly the magic gestational age for a greater chance at surviving life outside the womb? Turns out that before this 24 week mark, most babies' internal organs and lungs aren't developed enough to sustain themselves outside of the womb yet. Although, according to the Guinness World Records, the most premature baby to survive was Curtis Zai Keith Means. He was born in 2020 in the thick of COVID at an astounding gestational age of 21 weeks and one day. So while it is rare, it is still possible to have a child that will survive before the 24 week mark with the proper medical intervention, of course. But as we saw before, your chances of survival go way up after the 24 week mark. In celebration of Viability Week, what has this week felt like? Three words, out of breath. I just feel constantly out of breath, like I'm trying to catch my breath and I can't breathe. For example, I was at my daughter's appointment this week and I had to wear a mask while we were in the office and I thought I was gonna pass out. I just couldn't get enough oxygen in my body with the mask on. Oh, it was horrible. And frankly, quite scary feeling like you can't get enough oxygen in your body. I also tried this really cool hole in the middle inflatable pregnancy prone pillow thing, which actually turned out to be a really great investment for my massages, because now I can lay down on my stomach and get an actual full back massage in. Huh. It's, it's quite wonderful. My emotions, on the other hand, are a little bit touchy. I laid my daughter down the other night for, for bedtime and she nuzzled her head right into my neck and gave me a big old hug and I just, I immediately started sobbing. I just broke down in tears. Of course I kissed her and laid her down, but it took me like an hour to console myself just because I couldn't get over the fact of how cute she was and I was worried that, you know, once our little one is born, I'm not gonna have enough time for her anymore. And it just, it broke my heart. And it was a whole flood of sadness and adoring her and everything about her all at once. And I think I'm finally able to sleep, albeit I still wake up once or twice, but sleep comfortably to where I'm not waking up in writhing pain the next morning, which is also such a wonderful relief. Of course, now that our little one has a higher chance of survival if they were to arrive early, what would they look like if they arrived early? Our baby is over 12 and a half inches long or roughly 
32 centimeters long, so roughly the length of an eggplant, as seen in the model here. And our little eggplant likely weighs between one and a quarter to one and a half pounds by now as well. Although baby's eyelashes, eyebrows, and hair are all still coming in, they lack pigmentation. So right now, all of those hairs on their face and head are actually white, unlike what's being shown in this baby doll model here, obviously. Now what's really cool though, is that that newborn pinkish skin glow is finally starting to take form thanks to all the blood vessels under their skin. So our baby doesn't look quite so ghostly anymore. There are huge brain developments going on right now, along with the main branches of the lungs forming and the cells in their lungs that will make surfactant. And surfactant is the stuff that will allow their air sacs to inflate easily. This is another reason why babies born before 24 weeks have a harder time breathing and sustaining life. Since these surfactant cells haven't had enough time to develop yet or haven't had enough time to produce enough surfactant yet. Nevertheless, may our pregnancies go well beyond this viability week and into full term. Congratulations again on making it to this point. And my heart goes out to any mamas out there that have not been able to make it to this point. Do you know someone who has had their child delivered at or before 24 weeks and they survived? Tell me all about it. I wanna hear that story in the comments below. These videos take quite a bit of time for me to make, but it would only cost you one second to like this one. To join me next week on this 40 week super simplified science of pregnancy series, all you have to do is subscribe. Thank you and see you next week.